In other developments now, more communities will soon welcome state-of-the-art sport facilities as the National Sports Infrastructural Development Program accelerates. We get details from Daniel Dubois. You know, everybody in the community, they are out watching and they are aesthetic. And this is going to bring, you know, the game of football back into our community. This we have waited as well for a very, very, very long time. So all of us are, are very pleased. The government of St. Lucia continues the national thrust to upgrade sporting facilities island-wide as work continues on the National Sports Infrastructural Development Program. The overall objective of the Sports Infrastructural Development Program included the assessment of the existing sporting facilities, identifying venues that required upgrading and starting initial improvement works. According to Minister for Youth and Sports Honorable Edmund Estefan, the government is investing heavily in international standard sports facilities and programs to further support the development of skills and talents, hoping to breathe new life into community sports and recreation. We started with the, the National Sports Infrastructure Program or Development Program and so far we have, we have done four fields or we are doing four fields. From here they'll be moving to Miku, Miku to, to complete the surface. And this is the model that we are creating. Um, and, and obviously in every community we will have one such surface. So this is the start. So St. Lucia can look forward to you know, an upgrade in the facilities at a local level you know, in the not too distant future. So this augurs well for our development plan. And, and it shows that we are, we, you know, we, are, we are getting there basically and we are trying to engage our young people in the country. To date, several existing community facilities have received enhancements. Lighting systems have been installed in Chozel, Canneries, Foasor Babono, Denry, Leclery and Grace Viewfort. Playing fields such as Canneries, Jackmel and Leclery have been upgraded. Denry is the latest to join the list of playing fields to receive synthetic surface installations. Vice President of Construction at Geosurfaces Southeast, Lance Rosenberger, was on site Wednesday, 10th March 2021 and gave a quick overview of the project and composition of the tooth. The field itself should take about nine days to finish, uh, plus about three days for the mini field. This product here is using what they call a Theolon XP slit film fiber, which is one of the toughest fibers in the industry. The other thing that the government here chose as an add-on is the, the chrome rubber pellets are actually coated with a product called T-Cool, and it works just like how your body sweats. It holds moisture out of the air, and then when the sun hits it, it evaporates and cools the field off, so it'll be much cooler than a standard artificial turf field. The Mikut Plain field is next in line to receive new surfacing for the field, completing one phase of the National Sports Infrastructural Development Program. Obviously, the ministry and the local communities will have to organize a system for, for use of the, of, of the facilities because you do not want people just going on them and, and destroying them and using them in, in fashions that are not appropriate. So I know that the ministry is working you know, with the local communities to, to deal with that. And at the end of the day, we will, all of us will be able to use the field a lot more, but we just have to do it responsibly. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Danielle Dubois.